Here is everything you need to know to access the Artorius of the Abyss DLC in Dark Souls. First things first though, in order to access the DLC, you will need to have completed a good chunk of the base game. Specifically, you will need to have obtained the Lord Vessel from Guinevere in Anor Londo, after defeating Ornstein and Smell, and have placed it on the Firelink Altar just below Firelink Shrine. The reason for this is that once you have placed the Lord Vessel, it will unlock three key areas previously blocked by the Golden Fog Gates. One in the Tomb of the Giants, one in the Demon Ruins, and finally and most importantly, one in Anor Londo, leading to the Duke's Archives. Once you have got to this stage in the game, you will just need to do the following three steps. 1. Rescue the Dusk of Ulysil in Darkroot Basin. 2. Collect the Broken Pendant from the Duke's Archives. 3. Return to the Darkroot Basin with the Broken Pendant. And that's literally it! But if you want a more in-depth explanation on how to do all of this, then stick around. Step 1. If you haven't already done so, you will need to head to the bottom of the Darkroot Basin and defeat the Hydra mini-boss. Once you have defeated the Hydra, hug the left-hand side of the lake and follow the edge past the ladder until you see a golden crystal golem at the far end of the lake in a small cave. It is worth noting that after defeating the Hydra, you will need to either quit out and reload your game, warp, or leave the area for the golden crystal golem to appear. Once it has appeared, you will need to attack and kill the golem, as within the crystal on its head, is the imprisoned NPC, the Dusk of Ulysil, who you will need to talk to in order to advance to the next step. Once she has been freed, exhaust her dialogue and choose yes when she asks you a question. Step 2. Head to Anor Londo, and if you haven't previously travelled through the Duke's archives, take the left-hand path from the main bonfire and follow the path up. As you now have the Lord Vessel, the large golden fog gate will now have vanished, allowing you access to this area. Work your way through the area until you reach the elevator and take it to the very top. Next. You will need to be careful here, as in this area at the top of the elevator, there are several undead crystal soldiers and a crystal archer ready and eager to kill you. Clear the immediate area of all the crystal enemies, and you will notice in the top right of the room, at the top of the stairs, is a blue crystal golem. You will need to kill it in order for it to drop the broken pendant item which you will need to access the DLC. It is worth noting that the crystal golem is always here, but it will only drop the broken pendant after you have freed and spoken to the Dusk of Ulysil. So make sure you've completed step 1 before moving on to this section. Step 3. Once you've obtained the broken pendant from the Duke's archives, walk back to the Undead Parish and head back to where you rescued the Dusk of Ulysil, in the cave at the back of the Hydra Lake, at the bottom of the Dark Root Basin. At the very end of the cave, you will see a purple and black portal. If you head towards it and enter, it will trigger an animation where you get pulled into the Artorius of the Abyss DLC. And for now, that's it. You have now entered what is arguably the best and most difficult section of Dark Souls. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments section below what your favourite area or bosses of the Artorias of the Abyss DLC. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Dark Souls content.